What is the new car smell? Well, the short answer is a combination of chemicals created during the manufacturing process of the vehicle. But understanding that answer is going to take a little bit more explaining. First, let's look at the parts that make up the interior of the vehicle. You're going to have leathers, plastics, a little bit of glass, a little bit of metal, and a bunch of other various textiles. Now there's a couple different ways you could go and join these pieces together. You could sew some of the textiles together, you could melt the metals or glasses together, but the easiest and most common way that's used is to just glue things together. I'm sure almost all of you have smelled a strong adhesive like super glue or epoxy before, and you know that it gives off a pretty strong scent. Now imagine what would happen if you were to use a stronger industrial grade adhesive inside an enclosed space there's obviously going to be a smell. It also isn't just these adhesives that are producing smells. Pretty much every manufactured piece inside of a car is going to be producing some sort of smell. And all of these smells in combination make up the new car smell. This production of smells inside of a vehicle is part of a chemical phenomenon known as off-gassing. And almost all of you, even if you haven't bought a new car, have likely experienced off-gassing before. If you've ever bought a new laptop or a phone or even some clothes, you'll notice that as soon as you open up that box, it has some sort of a smell. It could be a good smell or it could be a bad smell. But nine times out of ten, that scent you're getting out of the box is a product of your product off-gassing. You might be thinking to yourself now, okay, well if some of these smells are bad from new things that we're buying, how come new car smells smell good? Well, there's actually an answer for that. A lot of vehicle manufacturers work to make the smells in their new cars as appealing as possible. In addition, new car smells are actually ranked by a company called JD Power, which is responsible for ranking all sorts of features of new vehicles. And a good rating versus a bad rating from JD Power can determine a lot about how a vehicle sells. So it's very, very important for these car manufacturers to even focus on these tiny little details. Some vehicle manufacturers will even hire people to come in and smell their cars just to make sure that scent is approved by a bunch of different people. Some luxury vehicle manufacturers like Mercedes and Bentley have even experimented with having custom scents put into their cars to increase the overall user experience. Finally, the new car smell is actually perceived differently depending on what country you live in. In the US and Japan, the new car smell that I've been talking about this whole video is pretty commonplace there, and nearly every car is going to have it. In these markets, that smell is seen as almost a status symbol, showing that this is a new vehicle, it's fresh, it's clean, and it's ready to go. However, in countries like China, the most preferred smell in a new car is no smell. Pretty much any odor inside of a new vehicle in that country is registered as air pollution, and customers aren't as willing to buy a car that has it. That leaves me wondering, what do new cars smell like in your country? That's about all I've got on this topic, but if you have any other burning, unanswered questions you'd like to see answered, just drop them down in the comments and maybe I'll get to them. But at the very least, now you know what the new car smell is.